Welcome to Global Ocean TV, the official television channel of the world's ocean, brought to you by the Terramar Project. I'm today's host, Teresa Carey, director of Hello Ocean, on board Rasanante, our flagship vessel. Hello Ocean facilitates ocean science and media to engage the public, inform legislation, and inspire change. We are focusing on two campaigns, ocean acidification and ocean noise pollution. Find out how you can get involved by visiting helloocean.org. Climate change, a central theme for Pope Francis's visit to the United States. Pope Francis arrived in the United States on Tuesday and climate change, an issue he called one of the principal challenges facing humanity in our day, figures to be a central theme in his message to Americans. Choosing sustainably sourced seafood could restore ocean health. With the omnipresence of constant surrounding the future and uncertainty of our ocean's health, it can be easy to feel powerless and think our actions and choices have little or no impact. However, there are solutions to these problems, and it is our daily choices that will make a difference and change the world. You can start simply by choosing sustainable seafood. Surf Snowdonia hosts Red Bull Unleashed on man-made waves. Red Bull Unleashed, one of the first international surf competitions on man-made waves, was held last weekend at the Surf Snowdonia Wave Park in North Wales. Surf Snowdonia is the world's largest and first commercial wave garden, a technology that involves an underwater plow moving back and forth, creating constant six and a half foot waves. More than 2,000 people showed up for the inaugural event, many of whom stood a few feet from the waves, creating a stadium-like atmosphere that broke from the surfing tradition. A microplastic key to reducing ocean dead zones discovered. Dead zones, like the 6,000 square mile area along the northern edge of the Gulf of Mexico, occur when nitrogen and phosphorus from agricultural fertilizers and sewage washes downstream into the ocean and creates huge blooms of toxic algae. Sadly, there are hundreds of them around the world. Microbiologists at BYU with financial backing from the National Science Foundation and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are addressing this global environmental issue by getting to the root of the problem. Art exhibit demonstrates how fish breathe in seas clogged with jellyfish. While jellyfish populations have been up and down for thousands of years, these diaphanous creatures seem to be better suited for the changes humanity has wrought on the oceans than any other marine life. The species has adapted to live happily in warmer waters riddled with pollution and algae blooms, where other marine life has been overfished out of the picture. Top Models In this episode of Ocean Gazing, host Ari Danielle speaks with a professor at the University of Maine and discusses how she makes ocean forecasts for the Gulf of Maine. Check out these stories in the Daily Catch and stay up to date with the latest ocean, river, and lake news from around the world by subscribing to this channel. Thank you.